Nashville Fairgrounds, and we are back in the Arca series, this time running a short track, a tough short track, Nashville Fairgrounds here. Uh, it's been a long time since we've run this in the Arca series, I think, since uh, 2021, I believe, was the last time. I don't think we've run it since then. But this is a tough combo, especially those bumps out of turn two are always really tough here, and this car is very loose on the short tracks anyway and those bumps do not help it. Leaving the brakes at default. You could probably move them up even to like 70. That's so loose through there. On the chip quite a bit. Try and get a decent run here. Here the number two. Uh, eight. 18.9 is not too bad. Should be fine. And it's not going to be any better. Just hit those bombs and got loose. Well, we're down to P8, so maybe it will be not so good. I ran an 18.8 in practice. And we got 18.6s up front, so... Nowhere near that. We'll be starting towards the mid-pack. That'll be all right. Probably just going to be about surviving this one, at least at the start. I'm hoping to have a little bit better of a run than I did at Kentucky, where I really couldn't do anything except go backwards. We will see what we can do here. With the way the gearing is in this setup, you're chipping out so early, the outside doesn't really work that well, because you're chipping out like halfway down the straights. So that's not going to be great if we start starting P8. We're like dead center of the people that put in a lap. But that's all right. We'll see if we can just plot along and put in some clean laps. Whoops. I had run like an 18.84 in practice. That was my best lap. So if I had run that, I'd been up one spot. So not that big of a difference there. And the whole field's pretty much on top of each other. I don't know how to get into the sevens or the sixes. I needed to get into the eights just by not sliding it as much through the center. It's pretty tough. You gotta get on throttle early to get the, keep the momentum up, but then it starts sliding if you're not careful, and it's really tricky. <laughs> it's a tricky combo to do quick. Only 45 laps here. Sometimes at the short tracks we get 50 laps. We got 17, 18 drivers here. We're starting eighth, so pretty much right in the middle. Could be dangerous. That 10 car was uh, really fast in practice, and he ran a point seven. He gets beat by like four other people. It looks like we are starting P8 up on the outside row. Let's hope we have a clean one. Leaving the brakes at normal, 68%. We put in plenty of fuel to finish Need to back up the entries so we're not sliding it so much. And uh, try not overheat the tires. Let's see if we can be there at the end. We expect to be fighting for the podium. This is a pretty tough track, especially with cars like this that have very little grip on short tracks. I, I don't think I'm going to like starting on the outside. I think that's going to be not very ideal. Is if there's an early spin or something in the corner that's going to go right up in front of me. We'll see what kind of start we can get. Maybe we can duck in the bottom lane. Who knows? Should be fun, though. Don't have to worry about cautions. This is a fun track to race on. Really tough. Um... And uh, not having to wait on cautions is going to make it better because we'd have to wait a bunch if this series had cautions. Or if any series that comes here has cautions, you got to wait a lot because there's always a lot of wrecking. I ran the Legends here, the 87 cars, and then I've run the B fixed cars here, maybe B open, the Xfinity cars. Always a bunch of cautions, but it's a lot of fun when you're green. 
turn everything off just in case. But hopefully we don't need to use the fast repair, but make sure it's ready. So we can just go right in and not mess around with it. Hopefully this is a fun one. Hopefully we can uh, find a spot to get into and save some tires for a few laps. All right, man, we're going and uh, maybe start time. moving forward. Who knows how this is going to go. We are coming around. Pace car is about to duck ready. in. We're going to get the green. Starting in second gear. All right, man. Pace car is in. When's the leader going to go? He's waiting. He's off. Green flag, green flag. 16 gets kind of a slower start. Inside. We're stuck up on the outside right now. Stay high. It might work to our advantage, actually, here. Is going to work to our advantage in this corner. Still there. All clear, all clear. It is. Okay. We get around the seven. We actually gain a spot. Now let's get in line. Right around and hopefully not burn their tires off. Now they're wrecking behind us. Some people got through it though, so they're still not that far back. car is just going to get looser and looser as this goes, I believe, because the tires are going to get heated up. Well, it's going to get tighter, too. It's overall going to get less grip, which is going to make it well, Arca at its finest. harder to keep it from spinning and harder to get it to turn. Yeah, yeah. Whoever's with the spun stop car, I didn't have enough time to stop. So they have wrecked behind us again. Now we just have the 14 back there, and he's kind of keeping up with us. And then just this single file group ahead of us, so really no pressure behind us right now. Let's try and put in some smooth laps, see if we can catch up to these guys. Not really able to right now. Watch it getting loose. That start worked out just about perfect for us. I wasn't sure if we'd be able to get around the outside with the gearing, but I guess since we weren't quite up to speed yet, it worked out. We we're starting to catch up a little bit here. 19-0 from the leader. We did an 18-9. Pretty close to the same. You guys are morons. They're still wrecking. I told you this place gets a lot of wrecks. Bumpy track with low grip. High speed. Don't hit the wall. But it is fun to drive this place. Got some lap traffic ahead. Probably people who have been in some sort of incident. It's going to be hard to pass. If that outside is just going to be that good when you're too wide, as we saw at the beginning. I think we just got to hope that we're not heating up our tires more than these guys, and maybe we can use that to our advantage later. I don't know if we are, though. It's going to be tough to do anything. See, there's a big slide. We need to not be doing that. Really, it's just been single file ahead of us since the beginning. Not much has happened here. But we are getting some lap traffic. There's somebody going around the three or trying to. Can't get it done, though. is going a bit wide in 1 and 2, but honestly, that's a pretty good line. It avoids those bumps down at the bottom.
He's showing those. He gives us the lane, but I don't know if I'm going to get a good enough run here. He gave us plenty of room there. He was being nice. We've got a lap car on the inside that's going to make things a bit difficult. We're all right. We clear him. We make a pass. We got a little sketchy there. Wasn't sure where the lap car was going to end up. A little bit loose there. The 11 got loose as well. Pulled away from the 14 a little bit. Right. Even making that pass. Yeah, I know you got sideways in front of me. I don't think I touched you. No, you did. See if we can catch up to the 10. Top five would be nice, that's for sure. That wasn't so good through there. Catching some more lap cars here, it looks like. Not even halfway yet, so... Plenty of time, don't need to be pushing and using up our stuff too much yet. Want to be as smooth as possible, keep it from sliding. Keep as much heat out of the tires as we can. See people getting loose there. I believe it just did a 19.38. Lap times have definitely fallen off. Fifteen staying high. Outside. Thank you. Stay low. Levin's getting loose over those bumps. He corrects it. Almost gets into the wall, but he keeps it going. We clear him. He might be able to get back and try and pass us back. We're now top five. I thought he was going straight into the outside wall once he got it loose over those bumps, but he somehow corrected it. I don't even think he hit the outside wall. Been a good race though. It's been a lot of fun. People behind us haven't had that much fun, I don't think, with the I think at least two wrecks that have happened at the beginning. We've had a good race up here so far. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get around the 10 or not. You don't seem to be much faster at all, but I think you just grabbed the wall there. Watch those bumps, get a run out. He might have lifted for us, he might have caught the wall. Either way, we make the pass. And it's halfway, we're in fourth. I will take it. Let's hope we keep moving forward and don't start falling off. I don't think I've been too hard on them. The tires, I mean. It's You can really feel it wanting to step out in 3 and 4. It's wanting to get loose really bad. Just got to recognize it as early as you can and try and correct it back. Lift off the throttle a little bit. But it is pretty hard to see it happening. three lead cars up there with a very wide entry into the corner. We kind of cut down. Oh, we got Peter here. I didn't even see he was in here. It's like he's been in some trouble. I think he started. 
He's the 13 car. I think 13 was around us at the start. I didn't realize it was him, though. Getting loose. All right. Got one outside. He stays high for us. Thank you. Clear high. Clear high. Big slide there. It's all right. Just keep it underneath us. Five to the radar is better. I don't think I'm catching these three up ahead. I'm getting very loose through the center now. I need to protect against that if I can. Just got to put in some nice smooth laps. We're pulling away from the 10 as long as we're not sliding it. He's got a big gap behind him now all of a sudden. I've really had to back the pace down though. It's getting so loose through the center. Might even be worth moving the brakes forward. Lead group is just driving away though. There could be some contact and some lap cars. 12 up here. You hit the wall, 8? It's nice and easy. Gotta watch it getting loose here, entering a bit lower. Fine. I don't think we're getting any of these three up ahead unless they have contact. They're just pulling away. They're running a bit higher here in one and two. I should probably just run it. It's all good. I got that. Trying to make it the uh... Yeah, that felt like it had more grip. I just did did not like how it felt in practice, but with the tires worn a bit, you're not up on the throttle as much, so it's not actually that bad. They're having a good race up ahead. It's been a bunch of two wide back and forth. We got a stop car down low somewhere. They're going again. It's a seven. Yeah, that feels a lot better there. It's not as loose at all up high like that. Probably what I should be running both corners. Yep. I say that and then I go high again. Or low. Lower. They're in the wall up ahead, just a little tap, looks like. They're still all going, doing fine. We're closing in on five to go. Big loose there for me. We've kind of just been holding steady with them since we got around the 10 car. We've lost a little bit, but not much, and we've kind of held at 2.1, 2.2. Yeah, now we're kind of falling again. But five laps to go. Okay, big loose. Got to pay attention. No pressure behind, just got to put in some smooth laps here to finish this thing off. We're not catching these guys if they keep it clean, so no sense in pushing hard. Somebody got loose out of the corner. That's the one, I think. 19.7. We're two tenths slower now. 
they're all right on top of each other and they've been that way for like the last 25 laps racing hard and racing quick two laps to go it's been a fun battle to watch I'm pretty sure they've swapped back and forth a couple times too coming to the white flag we got P4 locked down here no more mistakes or no mistakes on the last lap we didn't really have any mistakes this race which is pretty nice can't say that every day or every race I do they keep it clean they have a great race up there pretty much good with them. top well, nice race. top eight top ten have a really good race Sorry yeah. about that, great. There's that was fun it's over. good race guys Hey, yeah, it was man. a good race. Good job, that definitely was a good race. For us, at least. Whoop. Make sure I don't get hit or hit anybody else while we're slowing down here. That was fun. That was a fun one. Zero X for us. Zero X, I think, for the top something finishers. Let's see. The 10 and the 16, we know the 1, 2, and 3 had 0x. The 10, 0x. The 16, 0x. There's a bunch of people with 0x. That was a good clean race up front. A couple big wrecks at the beginning. I think that's all there really was. Well, we saw a couple little spins, but... Nothing, uh... Nothing huge like at the beginning. We'll take a look at them. And, uh, I'm gonna save the replay. <laughs> just in case it crashes. Well, I guess if it crashes, the whole computer will crash. So I guess I won't worry about it. Because I'll lose the video. Nope. Alright. Uh, I actually will save the replay. How do I do that? Alright. That's fine. That is very loud. Where are you at? Okay. Now let's take a look at them. First up, the 6 and the 7. The 7 was just kind of slow on the bottom there. He was trying to get going. We were able to clear him up on the outside. 7 probably just taking care of his tires, trying not to get loose on the cold tires. He's trying to get it around. He's clear right now, but then the 6 is kind of looking to the bottom and then he slides up and he hits those bumps and gets loose and then I think he starts getting loose before the 14 gets him because I don't think he touches him quite yet let's see he starts getting loose there and then there's a little tap I think he got loose before he hit him you can see the bumper almost get him like right there but he doesn't actually unless there's some net code maybe a tiny tap I don't know it's, it's it doesn't look like he hits him but then he gets loose and then he finishes him off kinda and that spins him down into the six and that was not as big as I thought it was I saw a guy spinning in front of everybody but they actually kept it all straight so that is interesting but then they wreck up ahead so there was one big one this is Peter, I think. He's loose there, trying to gather it back up, and just gets hit by the 12, I think. Red Bull. Yeah, he's loose entering the corner, trying to gather it back up. And then the 12 gets into him, and that finishes him off. You can't bump with these without instantly wrecking. And that wasn't even that big. That was just Peter, unfortunately. I thought there was a big one bunch of cars involved but apparently not some wall hits out of the corner there 18's grabbing the wall and then coming off the wall down in front of the 17 and then up in front of the 6 that was bigger than the first two and they're trying to get it back going that was really unlucky for the 6 there just nothing he could do about that he gets destroyed Eight car is going to get the wall on exit. And again, right where the marks are. We're on lap 29. Eight cars loose, 12 car, a little contact there, nothing 
Major there. They're going to be three wide out of the corner here. Well, 12 gets loose, corrects it a bit to the right. The 8 was getting loose to the left, and that sends the 12 down into the inside wall. Head on. Oh, 15 gets loose right there. Saves it, though. And this is after the checkered, I believe. And they're all celebrating or whatever. But, uh, yeah, that was a good race up front. That was some fun stuff. Once we got clear of the 10, we were kind of just locked there. We couldn't catch up anymore, but our tires were dying. 91, 90, almost 300 on the right front and the right rear. But that's the way it goes. That was a fun one, at least. Really not a very hot track either. Once this place gets heated up, it's insanely difficult. But we didn't have to deal with that too bad here. That was fun, though. Thanks for watching.